How do you heal tendons? Um, I would use first, you, I was fresh in the diet for sure. So when you have a joint pains, tendon, pa tendon pains, tendon um, issues, cartilage issues, you have to understand the cause. Yes, you could have had an injury, no doubt. But, but why would a tendon or cartilage be weak? It's because it's, it doesn't have proper use of calcium. So it's, it's not strong. The integrity is not strong. And this occurs because you have weak parathyroid gland. That's a gland that makes use of calcium. When, when you have weak parathyroid gland, the, the body, um, the tissue is not strong anymore. And you are more likely to have tears, damage. Uh, bone problems. So fix your parathyroid gland for any uh, tendon problem, any um, joint problem, or any cartilage problem. Always fix your parathyroid gland. You also want to be on the, on the fruit cleanse. Why? Because the fastest way you're going to regenerate. A fruit a fruit only cleanse is the fastest way. Even green drinks, uh, as, as high they are in vitamins and minerals, you want to stay away from them initially when you're doing a deep cleanse to get the fastest poss possible results from healing any kind of tendon, cartilage, or bones. Okay? Um, but um, make sure you use comfrey oil on the area. Comfrey oil, amazing, the best of the best oil you can use for helping the body heal quicker. For, for bones and also for wound healing, it's comfrey oil. You want to use that as well. And of course, I would use pork root on the area as well. Pork root will move the lymphatic system and, and, and get the system working around the area. When you have damage on the area, um, it's usually lymphatic stagnation. So put the poke root on the area and you're likely to recover quickly. I have a full protocol for any kind of uh, osteoarthritis, arthritis, um, joint problems, tendon problems, cartilage problems, or everything. Reach out to me and request it on my website, please.